Hey guys, Tony Skull IT here, and today I'm going to be showing you a basic zero drag tutorial. So today we have this little starter plane, and while I'm, I guess I'll be flying this, I'm going to be telling you how the zero drag works really quickly. So basically how it works is you just fill in any air that has any resistance, even if it's like a green good resistance, then you have to fill it up with something like a different you have to fill it up with uh, not air but a different block and you have to have that block detach from the vehicle and just be absolutely broken so that's what i'm going to call the shell and i guess what while i'm here i am going to be zero dragging this plane really quick so sorry if the fps is low i don't know how it's low or why it's low but first i'm going to be putting an angle sensor on the front to get rid of any drag that um the wedge um gives out and I guess for mechanics I'm going to have some detachable blocks right here and if you want you can follow along if you want for whatever reason so I'm going to add this distance sensor right here and I'm going to flip the center of the block and right here we're going to set this distance sensor to output scale um, negative one and distance to zero so that it's constantly active and then we're going to go to see how to box select these and make scrap also have the sensor connected to the um, detachable box it doesn't matter how big your shell uh, is as long as it uh, gets rid of any drag so as long as it gets a rid of drag then that's good And that's just like the entire thing, but I'm gonna be zero dragging this entire plane while I am talking. So there isn't really an easy way to do zero drag, like too easily if you have a more complicated vehicle like this, which is like wings and dragon jets and weird shapes and stuff. But I mean, like if, if you get practice, you can probably get something pretty good. I'm just zero dragging this part really quick. I'm gonna be covering the nose and that. And using these that these are all connected and gonna have this at the front. Like that, is it? Okay, everything is almost connected. Just gonna have this right here. And this one right here. Okay. Well, why did that happen? Okay. So, let's see. Okay, so there's a uh, drag on the wheels, so I'm gonna quickly eliminate that really quick with some angle sensors. You don't have to program the angle sensors, but they just act as like a good block since one side can't connect to anything. Okay, yeah, that's almost good. Uh, right there. Okay, what can we do for here? Maybe I can fill in with the block. What the heck? Why is my mouse stuck on select? Why is everything breaking today? What? What is going on? I am not pressing anything. I think my keyboard is probably being hacked or something. Whatever. Okay. And for this part... I really wish I had to remove the cylinder one by one by two, because like, be honest, who uses it? Okay, fill this one. Is that connected? No, almost. Okay, let me flip this. It usually takes me a long time to do zero drag if you're still watching this for some reason. I don't think that this is fully zero drag, but it's pretty good at least. Well, it's gonna be pretty good. Okay. So now, for this part, I'm going to be using some beams 1x8s. These things are really useful, like incredibly useful for making zero drag. Because they cancel out um, drag as well, which I would not expect. So, can have that and copy 
this over to this side. Is that good? No. And grab that. Okay. And gonna take this entire thing and paste that one down. Okay. This is pretty good. I'm gonna flip that. Okay, that's connected. And well, don't need the weight, I'm gonna need two elbow. And this. Why is everything all janky today? Okay. Okay, that's connected. So now I'm going to use a block one by four or two by four. Okay. I'm going to connect this to over here. It would be a lot faster if I just selected it, but whatever. And I'm gonna have these over here so that these can actually connect. Okay, there we go. So now I got zero drag on here. Oh, ill. There's some drag right there. Okay, get rid of that. Okay. I'm gonna have some distance sensors over here. Why does everything have to break today? Like, I can't even press X access or anything. Okay. There we go. Is that good? Okay, that looks good. I'm gonna do this over here. Also, make sure if you are doing underside, make sure that you cover up any pistons or like wheels or anything, because that could do a uh, a big difference in zero drag. Okay, Here we go. Move this over. Okay, so where else is drag? Over here. Okay. Gonna do that. Oh, can't do that. Also, I'm pretty sure that the uh, tail fins will become absolutely useless since they won't give any drag. But I'm not 100% sure on that. I haven't even done that. Okay. So is that okay? There's no drag. Okay, so now it's just this area. So how will I do this? Okay. I'm use this and then invert that. Paste this over. Make sure nothing's connected. And then gonna get this and connect to here. One, two, one, two, three, one, two. Okay, where else is drag? It doesn't matter. Okay, this whole fully drag. Okay, now it's just this uh, telephone part. So over here, I'm just gonna use some end gates because it really doesn't matter. I'm gonna flip those until they're they say that they're connected. And over here. I'm going to be using um, block one by twos until I go to here. One more. Yeah, that's good. And then I have to have these all connect to so it's going to be doing that. Is that good? No, almost. Hmm. Then this side. So. If you do get perfect zero drag, essentially your vehicle will have infinite top speed, also known as like 25 million, I think might be the top speed, but don't quote me on that. I'm not 100% sure. So, okay. So this is 100% gonna fly terribly because there's no drag, but I still wanna say it's gonna be fun. Okay, look at that, so. Oh. Something over here. Oh. oh no, that's the tube elbows. Okay. I can't see any drag, and I'm assuming that you can't either. I'm gonna drag this associated with the vehicle. Okay. So if you build. Huh. Okay. Sensors haven't worked for some reason. Maybe I just didn't. Okay, I didn't uh, attach them to the detachable block. Okay. There we go, perfect. So now this detaches, so let's just see how we don't take off because this thing is fully zero dragged. Oh no, it does take off, okay. Look at that, huh. Oh wow, you see that? Look at that. I got, you see how I was going probably like 300 max? Look at that, I'm going 600 right here. Bet you like 100 bucks to break the sound barrier. Right here, see? So, essentially, I could go in infinite momentum since I just, right now, perfected zero drag. 
so I want to see how fast I could get this thing before I hit the world border. Probably like, probably like 2,000, maybe like 2,500. Never mind. I guess that answers it. But yeah, that was a quick 10 minute long tutorial of Zero Drag. I do not do this for money because I don't have 1,000 subscribers or 400 hours of watch time. So it's just very convenient. That's 10 minutes. So thank you guys for watching. Uh, subscribe and like if you like the tutorial content, and peace.